all right good morning guys it is uh, can you see that 4 45 a.m we've got 230 miles three hours and 58 minutes to our destination uh, we've got today we've got one drop of the cars we preloaded last night that we had at the house and then we have one pick so pretty easy day of work just uh, probably uh, with deadhead to the other location maybe around say around 500 miles a day so we're starting early try to get this knocked out well we've almost made it to Ohio we had to pull over until the sun came up up here um, past New Stanton I don't know, mile marker, this is 49. It got so foggy before the sun came up that you could barely see, uh, like, eh, you know, past your headlights, and it was, uh, the fog was freezing on the windshield. So it got a little hairy, so I pulled over for about 45 minutes, let the sun come up. And uh, we're back on the road. I left early enough that 45 minutes, if I can't pull over for 45 minutes, and just be safe then I'm doing something wrong so that's what we did and uh, our next stop is at Ohio rest area because there's a Panera and I want a Asiago cheese bagel but I want to give a shout out to everybody over on the main channel because I posted a video last night I hadn't posted a video for 13 days and uh, I really just got discouraged over there at the end of 2020 with just the, the negativity, the chirping of everybody, you know, just people commenting on freaking videos that are a year, year and a half old and maybe I wasn't, you know, I was sharing my experiences and apparently I was doing everything wrong because that's what everybody in the comments said. And, uh, you know, now I've made it a, uh, you know, a point to ignore that and uh, just spread positivity. And I'm going to make a video, another video on the main channel about something to do, something more along those lines. But just want to say thank you guys. Um, I really do appreciate it. So I have like $500 worth of boots in the truck. And this is what I'm wearing. There's a truck. So, it's probably about a year ago now, I hopped off my trailer, pretty sure I broke a bone in my foot because I couldn't walk for, <laughs> couldn't walk very well without pain for probably about two months. And the pain's back and my foot's real swollen, so I don't know what happened there, but I found that Crocs, Crocs are the easiest on my feet. What would it be a trip to Ohio and snow not coming down? Can't see it, but I don't know why I still have my mask, but I really don't have any hands right now. So the uh, I saw a bunch of salt trucks out, so there's nothing on the radar and nothing on the forecast, but you know how it is. It's winter time, you never know. A two minute squall can make the roads a mess, but we're loaded. We've got the Mini, the Dart, the Patriot. We're 45 minutes from delivery, so let's get these delivered. All right, so we're pulling up to our delivery here. I was here the other day, and I pulled into their lot, and there's no way to turn around, and I had to back out onto a four-lane road. Well, what saved me with backing out on the four-lane road was there's a shopping center across that has a stoplight. So I knew if they had the green over there, all traffic was stopped. But it still was a pain in the feet. butt and sketchy. So what I think I'm going to do today, this wasn't too busy of a road. If I can, like I said, it's a four lane road. It's on my left side. If I can, um, if I can set myself up with no traffic coming for 20, 10, 15, 20 seconds, I can back into that lot and then I can pull out and be a lot safer. So I'm going to set you guys up here on the uh, on the dash and we'll see what we're working with here. Alright, 
So it's right after this. See that grayish truck there on the left? It's this place. So if I get a break in traffic, I may be able to just back in there. Oh, there's nobody behind me. And of course when I say this, this lane is gonna this road is gonna be super busy. Even if I were to get a red light, I couldn't turn right into there and back straight across the street probably quick enough because the light for the shopping center is probably 10 or 15 seconds. Um, just because there's like maybe one or two cars coming out of there. So I might have to do my... Actually, I might have a break here. We've got a white, yep, yeah, we got a white Jeep and then something behind it. And we are going to take these two left lanes and back in here. Set myself up. Unbuckle seatbelt so I can see. Man, it's like I've done this before. Mud flaps are dragging. Off the road. Well, that wasn't too bad. Now I just gotta watch for idiots in this dealership parking lot, but set myself up over here out of the way. That's good for me. Let's get these unloaded. And just like that, we're gone. A 74 mile deadhead to uh, Cleveland, Ohio to pick up. Hold on, look at this place. Dang, talk about goals there. Anyways, uh, we got 74 mile deadhead to get to Cleveland, Ohio to pick up three units from Carvana. And some might say, Jason, why are you deadheading 74 miles? because it is one pick, one drop, and it drops back off in Mannheim, PA at a, uh, a detail shop that's right beside or right by the auction. So that sets me up for, what's today? Today's Wednesday, that sets me up for pick up tomorrow, Thursday, deliver Friday somewhere. So chances of me getting another load out of Mannheim, PA is very likely and uh, kind of, you know, deadhead out of the way a little bit to set myself up uh, to have cars at the next location so this uh, this load of three from Carvana pays very well it's um, I want to say I looked it up it was like 271 a mile for three units two cars and a van or something along those car SUV van something like that but let's get over there to Cleveland let's get this load picked up and uh, knock on wood we're making pretty good time it's another nice place right there in 1,000 feet well we are in Cleveland Ohio just about to our destination my camera froze I was trying to video the water show you that we were right on the lake as you can see on the map there uh, we're pulling up get off this exit and then it's about a half mile off the exit now it's a Carvana location try to stop at the truck stop and get my gate pass printed out guess oh I think it looks like they were sold through Mannheim but they're at a Carvana location uh, so I try to stop at the, uh, the truck stop to get the gate passes printed because I forgot and of course their printer doesn't work so hopefully they will either accept them on my phone or they can print them out. And they have an office here and can print them out themselves. But let's pull up. We got a uh, Cadillac CTS. 
Fort Econoline and um, it's a good question survey says a Ford Focus so car SUV van so let's hop off the interstate here and uh, load some cars in the rain at least it's not snowing all right so we're here this is a Carvana location in uh, Cleveland Ohio give me one second I'm gonna look it up for you guys uh 12610 Kirby Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio. So if you come here and you're hauling out of here, um, pretty smooth process. They got this little building over here, a little guard shack. And I was like, sorry, man, I don't have mine printed out. I tried to stop and get them printed out. He says, oh, no problem. Email them to this email. He radioed, they confirmed they got them. And he said, just go back to your truck, hang out, and they'll drive them out to your trailer. So they've got... That white van over there, right over there, is um, blocking the uh, the gate. So they must move that out of the way and they'll just bring them right out to the trailer. So I'm going to sit here in the warm and the dry and uh, wait for my cars to come out. I lied. It's a Cadillac CTS. So it's a car, two cars and a van. That makes it a little better. Take a look at that truck. Take three Pro Air, three car trailer behind that thing. Woo wee! Get in, kids, I got candy. Oh my, what a beautiful day in Cleveland. This lady is so short, that's pulling my cars for me. So I got two loaded up, got a CTS and a Focus. And uh, we'll pull this one up on last. Well, snow's falling. Here we are. They're loaded. Dirty as all can be. This trailer needs a bath. That truck needs a bath. But, Econoline, Focus, CTS, Cleveland, Ohio to Mannheim, Pennsylvania. I'll figure out the rate for you guys. Man, you know what really strikes a nerve with me? There's people blocking the pumps. Especially somewhere out here like on the Turnpike. Um, I'm still in Ohio on the Ohio Turnpike. And you know, there's a, a service plaza or whatever they call them. Maybe like every, I don't know, 20 miles. Don't think I'm jerking it hand sanitizer you freaks anyways uh every like 15 to uh 20 miles and uh this guy beside me was at the pump when i pulled up he was getting fuel which is good for him that's what you're supposed to do and then i pumped i filled up he goes in the store still at the pump i have pulled forward like you're supposed to. They even got a line here on the ground. So he goes in. He's getting coffee. He's chit-chatting it up with the with the guy at the counter. Now he's over here checking his oil, checking his lights. And there's a guy behind him trying to wait to get fuel. And he's just taking his go with he's putting windshield washer fluid in, taking his good time. And there's literally a truck parked behind him waiting to get fuel and he's just moseying around. Ugh.
interesting. All these trucks that I'm passing with these brand new trailers, it's Brazil Truck Inc. But if you notice, they're all single axle sleeper trucks. I don't know if this company, all they do is deliver like brand new trailers, so they don't have to really worry about weight. But you see there, it's a single axle sleeper truck. You don't see those too, too often because I've definitely looked for them. Uh, you can find a bunch of them like, actually I don't know if I'm gonna tell my secrets of where to find them. Now if you, uh, if you get on like, I'm on, uh, shoot, what's that page called? Cowboy Truck and Trailer, uh, something. But you get a lot of guys with like, ro what they call rodeo rigs that used to pull like, horse trailers or whatever to rodeos. And they'll have like, uh, like whatever brand, a Peterbilt or a Kenworth or a Freightliner, but it's single axle with a sleeper. And that's where I found most of the ones that I've looked at. Uh, but if you know one thing about some of those rigs, they're not very well taken care of. Uh, you can just tell by the outside appearance if it was taken care of or not with those. So, but I found that interesting. I might look up and see what that company does because you don't see those trucks too often. Oh, we got ourselves an old dragonfly here, boys. You know what a dragonfly is? Drag them up the hill, then they decide to fly down the hill. See our England truck here about ran me into the wall. Going about 60 miles an hour in uh in the right lane and this well here this, this guy just decides that he's gonna enter the road. Hey buddy. Anyways, see our England decides that uh I'm gonna I'm gonna pass him in the left lane because he's going under the speed limit going up the hill. As soon as we crest the hill I'm going five over and here he comes flying down the road flying down the hill into a corner and he's not making the turn very well so he starts coming over the center line well I just bat I just get on the brakes hard and then just hop back over into the slow lane I'm not dealing with someone that's gonna drive like an idiot but that's a company driver for you